Good morning. This is your morning sip. Whatever you're having, whether it's coffee, tea, apple juice, grapefruit juice, pineapple juice, whatever you're having, please have it with Jesus Christ. Today, I'm having some coffee this morning. But you will find me coming to you from the book of Esther chapter 8 this morning. Yet, you know, yesterday and the day before, we talked about all that Haman did and how Haman built this gallows. And we saw where Haman was hanged on the gallows himself, what he had built for, um, for the Jewish people and also for, for Mordecai. Now, we'll see in verse 8. Uh, in chapter 8, not only will God just um, hang your enemies on their own gallows, but he will bless you with everything that they be will belong to them, will end up falling in your lap. He says, stick with me till I make your enemies your footstool. And not only the footstool, he says that what the enemy thing that they keep it from you, God will bless you with it. God will give everything that they own to you. Um, so let's go and let's look. On that day, reading from verse 8, on that day, the king gave Queen Esther, the house of, of, of Haman, the enemy of the Jews. And Mordecai came before the king. For Esther had, had told how he was related to her. So the king took off his signet ring, which he had taken from Haman, and gave to Mordecai. And Esther appointed Mordecai over the house of Haman. Now, we'll rest there for a minute. You see that? The ring that even down to the ring that, he, that Mordecai, Haman wore was now placed on the ring of, of Mordecai. And Esther, the Jewish people who he wanted to destroy, now Queen Esther is over his entire household to do what she pleased with, the entire household. Now, as you go on further, you will see where all of Haman's sons were, were totally annihilated. They just wipe out that wipe out that lineage. Totally destroyed it. You understand me? And so that there was no more. I want to say this to you. Yes, sometimes the enemy is fighting against you. You're going through so much in this life, and you don't cannot understand why you have to go through what you're going through. You don't understand. God is preparing you for what he has called you to do. And if God is preparing you, look at David. God prepared David. David had to fight with a lion. He had to fight with a bear. Look at um, look at um, Joseph. Joseph had to be um, sold into slavery. Joseph had to go through all kinds of things before he got to the point where God had him to to be where he was now. And then he was in this in the uh, prison where he met. These persons, where he did work for them, and he worked as a slave, and he did all that was preparation for them to become a big ruler in, 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 in um, Egypt. So I'm telling you this. Look at what you're going through as preparation. Do not look at it as you're going through and a woe is me. Yes, woe is you. Yeah, you might be going through it at this particular time. But I want you to take your time, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord. Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Gracious and eternal Father God, as we come before you today, Father, we come trusting in your merits. Because, Father God, we know that even though the enemy and the heathen may rage, Father God, we know that we have the victory. Father God, we thank you for preparation. We thank you for the training ground. Father God, because when we go on the training ground, we know that you will be glorified in everything that happens in our lives, oh God. Father God, we know that all power and honor and glory belongs to you because, Father God, you are God and besides you there is no other. Father God, you say your glory you will share with no man. So, Father God, just like how Queen Esther and how um, Mordecai kept their faith in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Father God, we come placing our faith in your hands today, knowing that you are still a miracle working God, even in 2019, oh God. And so, Father God, we thank you for the victory over our enemies today. We thank you for the victory in our lives today. In the name of Jesus the Christ, amen. Today, if you like this broadcast, you could go and share it in your WhatsApp groups, share it on your Facebook pages, share it in your family groups, and please tell them to subscribe. Go to our YouTube channel, which is called Uncle Irv's Morning Sip, which is spelled U-R-V apostrophe S. Go there, like, and share. Others are spreading all kind of garbage, and they're spreading all kind of things that are not profitable to our spirit on YouTube. We could go there and spread and share the good news of the gospel by liking and sharing so that we could stay on. God bless you. Whatever you're having today, please have it with Jesus Christ. I know that Jesus Christ is still in control. And regardless of what the enemy may do, 
God is still in charge. So God bless you. Go out and share love and have a beautiful day. This is your morning sip. God bless you all.